Friendly greetings, this is Torley. I'm gonna to show you how to get Amazon S3 Firefox Organizer, also known as S3 Fox, set up. It's pretty easy, obviously, you need to be using Firefox as your browser. And on this page, right here, you can Google for S3 Fox, I'll find it too. Just click Add to Firefox. So, and it'll yeah, give you this disclaimer. Go on, accept and install it, and go ahead Wait for the countdown and install now. You'll need to restart Firefox like it says. Go ahead and do that. Now that Firefox has restarted, not only will you be at an info page talking about its features, you'll see in your add-ons, scroll down to the bottom if you don't see it yet, that, ah, it's installed. Great. So you can close this out and you should notice that right here, it says S3 Fox. This is how you access the quick drop box. And of course you need to manage your accounts. This is handy for getting to stuff quickly. Let me show you that a little bit later. But for now, you can show the full view by going to Tools menu and S3 Organizer. Click that and ooh, okay, it reminds me again. So let's get an account set up, okay. Now, what you want to do, need to do, is go to Manage Accounts. And since you don't have an account yet, enter in your information. Account name can be anything you want to easily remember it, but access key and secret key, obviously provided to you by Amazon S3 services, need to be absolutely private. If you give them out, anyone can upload stuff to your account. You don't want to incur that, most likely. That's why I've obscured this. But once you have these properly entered, click Add. I know it says press Clear button to add a new account. What that means is after you've added one, you want to add another, you can clear that. But since we have this one, let's select that and click close. So now it automatically loads in, ooh, directories. This is the Amazon 3 S3 view, the remote view rather, and this is local view. So these are files that I have on my own hard drive. So uploading is pretty easy. Like for instance, I can scroll down here. You can sort columns. And once you found the folder you're looking for, just like usual, you double click to open it. So here we go. You can upload by selecting a file on the left hand side. I'll pick any one, click it, and then press this to upload, just like it says. Or you can select an option such as these. These are more advanced. I won't get into them now, but I'll just upload and upload like that. It's completed. So you should see this in the list right there. It is one thing you should absolutely keep in mind is if you want to share this with the world, make it public, you will need to right click. Edit ACL, that's access control level. Click that and oh, you can set it to whatever you choose. In this case, I want to share it with the whole world so everyone can read it and then you can okay that, just like that. And now this file is open for the whole world to see. You can right click that and select copy or to clipboard, go up into any address bar or text notepad, whatever, and then you can paste that in. And it'll appear like this and you can give this link out an email, share it and so on and so forth. If you want to delete a file, that's easy too. Right click and just delete. So a lot of standard file operations. Go ahead and clear that out. To make S3 uploading even easier, like I showed you a bit of before, you'll want to use the Dropbox. So let's close this expanded view and let's open the Dropbox. Single click would do it. And you can see remote view, transfer view, that's the files that are going on. You can synchronize stuff, more advanced stuff, and a log, which is handy. But in remote view, it's easy. So I'll just move this to the side. And let's say I have a folder full of pictures that I want to upload some of them. I just drag this. This is just a standard Windows Explorer folder, right? So I can just scroll down, or it's right there, totally. And then I can click maybe two of them. So I shift click, and then click, drag it and release. And then they'll both be uploaded in due time. And setting permissions for these is the same. If you want to view the advanced view, I mean the full view, go back to tools and S3 organizer. <laughs> More features and goodies to know are described on the official page. So check that out. And like it says, explore Amazon S3. Happy file transferring.